Welcome back for video number three in this series, which will cover navigating the gradebook. Before we get into the gradebook, let's look at our current student that's in 11th grade and talk about courses that are available in the Warren County School District. This 11th grade student currently has five different courses that they're enrolled in. There are four core courses and a health course that they're making up from ninth grade to get the required health credit. Notice that the student is enrolled in five courses, which is the minimum course load for any student to be considered full-time if they're under the age of 18. In grades K through five, students will be enrolled in all four core courses, as well as a PE elective, an art elective, and in the second semester, a music elective. Students in grades six through eight have access to all four cores. They'll have a PE course if they're full-time, and there are nine additional electives that they can choose from. Students in grades nine through 12 in the Warren County School District have access to all core courses that are offered within the building, as well as 65 different elective choices, many of which are not available within the building. Students can be either an enrichment student in grades nine through 12, meaning they're taking one or two courses on top of a full course load within the school building. You can take a course to replace one course within the school building and complete during your support center. There are credit recovery courses available, which are there for students to recoup credits for courses that they may have failed in the past. Students are able to be part-time in which they attend the career center for half of the day and then do their virtual work for the second half of the day, or we have many full-time students within the school district doing all of their coursework from home. Course, courses that are available include non-CP or non-college prep, college prep courses, honors courses in math and English, as well as advanced math courses that are available if the student scores high enough on placement tests, which are in the building. Now, to get to the gradebook, we'll go to our menu and we'll click on gradebook. For our theoretical 11th grade student, you can see all of the courses that they're currently enrolled in by clicking on the gradebook and their current grade in that course. With virtual, we've converted to marking periods to mirror what happens within the school building. It's really important to understand this because all work within a marking period must be completed within that marking period just as it would be within the school building. To ensure that you're in the correct marking period, click down on this drop menu and make sure that we click the second option down. This will show our current grades for this marking period. Any grade that is below a 60% will show up a red to indicate to the student that this is a course that is not currently passing. The progress based on current gradable activities is below, as well as the progress on all activities. If we go into an individual gradebook, for example, English 11, we can see our score on each individual assignment, as well as the submission date. So since this student is theoretical, there is no submission date for each, but each assignment is individually graded along with the status, which shows that it was turned in. There's two different ways to look at the individual grade book, either in the grading periods and categories, which will break your grade down by exams, assignments, quizzes, discussions, essays and projects, or whatever categories the teacher has established, or in syllabus order, which will just show all of our current grades based upon their due date. If we click into an individual assignment, it will show us details on that submission history. Clicking on an assignment will again give us more details on the submission history. When feedback is given by a teacher on your assignment, there will be a box right here that will look like a dialogue tab. 
if a retry is given on an assignment, if a student scores poorly or maybe submits the wrong thing, there will be a half circle that will also show up here, indicating that the student has been given a retry. The due dates are general targets for students to shoot for in order to get all work turned in on time by the end of the nine weeks. Students have up to 30 days past the due date to turn assignments in in all CP courses and until the end of the nine weeks in non-CP and credit recovery courses. If we click into an assignment again, Another feature that is available is if we click on the individual assignment, it will take us to where that assignment is within the actual module so that we know where to submit our work. If there are any assignments that must be completed beforehand, they will show up here. And by clicking on this, it will take you to that individual assignment so that you can do the module and download the activity before submitting your work. An additional feature of the gradebook is the what if tab. In the what if tab, a student can see all of their current coursework and their assignments on each. There are assigned grades on each. If there are zeros that are associated, a student can go in and put in whatever their projected score might be. For example, let's say the student was given a retry and they scored 100% on this assignment the second time around. You can input your projected score, scroll back up to the top and hit the recalculate button. So before, once we hit that, it shows the difference in our grade between our actual score and our projected score. Any scores that have been given a zero will show a large increase in the projected score due to the grading management. The activity button is another feature of the gradebook that will show you any activity that the student has been in and how long they've spent within that activity. For example, with our demo student, I was just in the Rugged Americans module review assignment at 7.28 a.m. for a total of 37 seconds. This also is a good way for parents to keep track of the activity that their students are actually working on. For our next video, we'll go through modules and lessons and show how to download activities.